Say no to 2309. It wasn't an angry mob that was demanding to speak with the congressman. Just, they say, a group of proud postal workers looking to have their voices heard. What we want to do is just increase public awareness that this is out there. And I think Mac's going to do the, do the right thing. I mean, he's been elected by the constituencies, and the constituencies, they, they, they want him to do things that make reasonable sense for, 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 the, for one, the 13th Congressional District, then for Texas, then for the United States. Thornberry staff has informed the workers that he is going to support H.R. 1351, which could save the post offices. But they were also there to ask him to co-sponsor it too, and to ask that he vote no on HR 2309. Some amendments that just passed on HR 2309. Um, if you're retirement age and you hadn't retired, then they can just make you retire. No severance package, no nothing. You're just out the door. I mean, 2309 is uh, detrimental to postal service. Uh, we don't need to close facilities. We don't need anything but passage of HR 1351. Workers chanted, "Save the post office!" and pled for the congressman to listen. The post office belongs to the, to the United States people, and, and the people of Amarillo, Texas are part of it. And they're concerned about their post office. They're, they're, they're seeing in the news where the small offices are closing. They're, 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 there's an awful lot of fear going on out here about the post office. And in this case, only time will tell if their efforts were enough. Matt Hamilton, Pro News 7.